Hello everyone, I am your host Ayushi Kara Sethia and welcome back to our channel Pabli. In this video we are going to learn how you can send Fluent Forms data to MySQL database automatically. So first let us understand what these software applications are all about. So Fluent Forms is a form building software application and it is a plugin of WordPress whereas MySQL is a database management software. So the idea here is that you have created a form using your Fluent Forms account. The form can be a contact form, a sign up form, a lead generation form or any type of form. So let's take an example of a lead generation form. So you have created a form using your Fluent Forms account and you have embed that lead generation form on a website to get the form filled. Now you want that whenever any of your customer fills that form automatically using the details of the form submission a new row or a new data should get created into your MySQL database table. For this we need to create a connection between Fluent Forms and MySQL so that whenever the form is filled automatically the details are added to your MySQL database table. So in order to create a connection we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating both these software applications automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So let us learn the integration process now on my screen. Welcome back to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. And you are going to get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as send Fluent Forms data to MySQL database. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want that whenever a fluent form is submitted by the customer, automatically the customer details should be added to your MySQL database. For that, just open this trigger window and choose the application name as Fluent Forms. Select the trigger event as new form submission. Now we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. So by following these instructions, you can set up the webhook in your Fluent Form specific, specific form. So I'll just copy this webhook URL from here and I'll take you to my WordPress dashboard. And here we can find Fluent Forms option. So if you can't find this option, you have to just install the plugin from WordPress. So here, let's move to Fluent Forms. I'm just going to open all the forms. And in my Fluent Forms account, I have created some forms over here. That is subscriber form, integration request form, report issue form, lead generation form. So we are going to access this lead generation form for this particular integration. I will just open the form and I will show it to you. And in this particular form, I have taken the basic fields of the customer. That is his first name, last name, email address, mobile number and the gender. If you want to add some more fields, from here you can add the fields as per your requirement to the form. And then just click on save form. And then you can find a short link. So you can use this link to embed the form on a website. So I have already used this link and I have embedded it on my WordPress web page over here. And uh, the WordPress web page name is lead generation form over here. Okay. So we will be accessing the form after some time. First we have to create an integration between this particular form and Pabli Connect. So that whenever the form is filled automatically the details are captured in Pabli Connect. So let's scroll down and here we can find settings option. Click on it and come to WP Webbooks option. And here we have to just click on send data. Now here we can find available webbook triggers. So let's scroll down. 
we have to just click on fluent forms form submitted now here we can find all the web books which i have already saved we have to just click on add web book url here we'll have to give a name to the web book so let us give it as my sql integration here we have to paste the web book url which we have copied from public connect and let's click on add for fluent form submitted okay let's scroll down and here at last we can find our web book saved over here now we have to just click on this three dots and click on the settings option here we have to select the action settings for our web book now here we have to select the form trigger on the selected form so in which form we want to capture the response so i want the form name to be lead generation form so whenever this form is filled the detail should be captured select only the forms you want to fire the trigger on you can also choose multiple ones if none is selected all are triggered okay so we have selected our form name let's scroll down and click on save settings the settings are saved let's close this window and let's move back to public connect and here we can see that it is waiting for the web book response so in order to capture the response we have to do a test submission it means we have to fill up the form on the name of a customer so i'll just move to my lead generation form and here we are going to add the details of the customer let's give the first name as adam last name as smith email address as smith adam 11@gmail.com let's add the mobile number over here and select the gender as male and click on submit form thank you for your message we will get in touch with you shortly okay so the form has been filled now let's move back to public connect and here we can see the responses received and all the details of the customer through the form submission are captured over here first name as adam last name as smith this is his email address mobile number and the gender as male so now we want that using these details of the customer automatically a new record or a new row should get generated into your mysql database for that just come to this action step choose the application name as mysql select the action event as insert row click on connect click on add new connection now it is asking for the database username and database password so you have to enter your login details over here for the host you have to just go to your mysql database and here we can find the host so you have to just copy it and you have to paste the same over here okay now it is asking for the database name for that again move to mysql account and here we can find database name as d builder in my case so you have to enter your database name over here in public connect and for the port you can find the port over here that is 3306 in my case so you have to enter your port over here and after entering all the details let's click on save so as i have already created a connection i'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and i'll just click on save and now my sql account is connected to public connect now here we have to select a table name so i'll just take you to my my sql account once again and here i have created various tables so now i want all the customer data to be entered in this customer data table so i have to select the same table name over here in public connect also so let us select the table name as customer data now it is asking for the id name email address and other details of the customer so we have already got all these details from our fluent forms form submission so we are going to map all these details now let's scroll down first let us map the id from fluent forms and it will be embed post id Here we have to map the name from uh, from fluent forms, and the name was Adam, as well as the last name that was Smith. In the same way, we will be mapping the email address, and let us map the mobile number also. Okay, so we have entered all the details. Now let's click on Save and Send Test Request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means a new data is added to your MySQL database. Let's check it. We have to just refresh our MySQL account. Okay, and here we can see a new data added. Adam Smith. Here we can find his ID. Here we can find his email address and the mobile number. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. 
Now, as we have created an automation between Fluent Forms and MySQL database, next time whenever any of your customers going to fill your lead generation form, automatically the customer details will be added to your MySQL database table. So let's check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll just move to my lead generation form once again and I'll just refresh it so that we can fill in the details on the name of some other customer. Let's give the first name as Shikha, last name as Arya, email address as Shikha Arya, 22 at the rate gmail.com. Let's enter the mobile number and uh, gender as female and click on submit form. Thank you for your message. We will get in touch you with this shortly. Okay. So the form has been filled. Now we have to check our MySQL database table. We have to refresh it once again. Okay. And here we can see that a new data is added to our MySQL database table. Customer name as Shikha Arya. Here we can find her email address and the mobile number. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to public connect and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Fluent Forms and Public Connect. Then Public Connect has captured all the details of the customer through the form submission. And using those details of the customer, automatically a new row or a new record was added to your MySQL database table. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Fluent Forms and MySQL database using Public Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Public Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.